Welcome back to part two of the video. So just to reiterate what happened in part one, I uh, joined this webinar from UCID and it's official information session on the rifles program. It was really good, really informative, and it's very reliable as well. So uh, if you haven't watched part one here, uh, I cover what happens basically your pre-departure, your departure and your arrivals up to quarantine in part one. So you might want to check on that if you haven't. And in this part two, I will cover what will happen after quarantine. So it includes your studying, your enrollment, your housing, and also I will be answering a couple of frequently asked questions and some comments that I get in on Instagram and also on YouTube about these arrivals program thing. So what will happen after quarantine? Of course, we know that there is an update about Singaporean students that now doesn't require uh, quarantine in Australia. Lucky you guys, but that's really great. And if you don't need quarantine, then you can go straight to reserving accommodations and where you will be living when you, when you arrive in Sydney. So let's talk about the Sydney University Village. After two weeks, this is the fun part. You will be transported to your housing if you register to the Sydney Village. Sydney University Village is basically a student accommodation located in Sydney University and they have prepared all of this um, assistance to help you with reservation. Because imagine you come to Sydney and you don't own a place to stay so what, what will happen if you got off quarantine and you don't find a house like, are you going to be homeless or you have to go to sleep in a hotel <coughs> don't worry you're going to have an option a very convenient option that is is to uh, live in the sydney university village they will help you with reservation you can book a room during quarantine or even before quarantine and you'll also be given a virtual tour to see if you like the room but i'll link the sydney university village down below as well so that you can uh, have a look on whether or not you're going to be interested to rent a place there those are the advantages of the sydney university village there was, there was a session held by their own officials so there's a lot of promotions there's also like a 50 dollars coupon for calls at a supermarket in Sydney and also there's free transport from your quarantine facility to the uh, accommodation so it's pretty convenient okay I also get these questions a lot in my YouTube channel and on Instagram oh my Instagram <laughs> <laughs> that's about a guardian whether or not a guardian will be allowed to fly with you and stay with you during quarantine the simple answer is no unfortunately but don't worry, there will be assistance from the government that will make sure that students in quarantine will be taken care of and uh, you won't be having any problems living by yourself. So don't worry about that. Moving on to studying and enrollment. So as I mentioned before, every student in this arrivals program will be assigned a case manager, which will help you one-on-one -on, -one on how to deal with enrollment and studying and visa and vaccines and everything the whole process basically why, why is this still a part of the arrivals program so even if you've uh, got a quarantine you're safe and sound in australia you can put all of this behind you but you still need to stay in touch with your case manager in case you have a problem with your enrollment so let's say if you suspend the studies while overseas and you want to pick it up again or, or maybe if you want to do some courses online some courses in person these case managers will help you with that and they will work with you personally to make sure your enrollment plan is in place and support your ongoing progress Lastly, I'll do a Q&A from the questions that I received first from my Instagram account and also my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm going to just uh, answer these questions that I've picked out and I think it's very relevant and important questions to ask. Okay, so first of all, when can I apply for student visa if my semester starts in August 2022? You can apply for your student visa as soon as you have received your PCOE confirmation of enrollment. Okay? Does the university offer any assistance when applying for the visa? I applied for it back in July and haven't had anything back. Okay, 
Okay, so uh, unfortunately the university cannot assist with the visa application process, but you can definitely follow up with your Department of Home Affairs or seek some help from a registered migration student agent. Third question, what happens if someone gets sick during quarantine? What will the process be then? There will be a New South Wales health staff on site and if you have COVID, you will be transferred to another facility with treatments and stuff. Another question is, I haven't actually started my degree in university, will, be, will I be able to join the arrivals program? So, um, as I said, as I mentioned before, the arrivals program has very limited seats and they do have prioritization. So, obviously the party is very much students that are already a student or have suspended the studies, so current students. Unfortunately, there's no remaining in the program at the moment for committing students. Okay, so I think that's basically it. And to wrap up this video, I'm just going to copy and paste, just plagiarize the whole damn shit, plagiarize the whole thing from the webinar's next steps which are first log into canvas site with your unique and password and look out for the date 18th of november which there will be very very comprehensive information on this arrivals program and second you have to make sure your contact details are up to date in sydney student sydney student website and keep checking your university email for updates who knows you'll get invited right and lastly just to keep in mind Students will be supported whether they choose to study onshore or continue online and we will continue to provide remote and online learning options for our students overseas for as long as that is required. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope that you find it helpful and I'm really hopeful as well that uh, we'll be able to go back to Australia by early next year. And um, best of luck to all of us here and see you soon in the next video. Hopefully the next video will be me traveling back to Australia. But